So in my previous video, I has connected the 24 volt PoE to a DC 48 volt PoE used two method, which involved the PoE splitter and the passive PoE 24 volt converter. Now you can watch the video right here if you missed it. But what if our device is 24 volt PoE and is distance away? Because we all know that the PoE system is limited to a distance of 328 feet. So it might be a challenge when our device is out of range. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to extend our PoE network up to 650 feet. But before we jump to the video, please make sure you hit the like button below because it really helped with our YouTube algorithm and make my life a whole lot easier. In a passive PoE system, the power source and the edge device do not negotiate the power requirement before the power is delivered. Instead, it just sends the power directly to the edge device. So even passive PoE is a simple and cost-effective way to power network devices for short distance. We don't really recommend it for long distance. The main reason is the voltage drop. It will occur over a long cable run and also result in insufficient power being delivered to the device. It may cause the device fail to operate. In the 24 volt passive PoE system, the voltage drops significantly over long distance. The power delivered to the device may be much lower than the voltage requirement while it will lead to unreliable operation. Therefore, it limits the usefulness for certain applications such as the outdoor civilian cameras or the wireless access point that requires long distance power. Now, without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and do the connection together. So here we are. First thing we need is the passive 24 volt to standard PoE converter. So this is the converter with one input port and one output port. This converter will complete the power handshaking with the PoE switch. The converter will return the correct signal to the switch and after it receives PoE power from the switch, it will convert the DC 48 volt to DC 24 volt passive PoE. Now to extend the distance, we will need the power PoE extender, which is this one. It has one input port and two output port, one for spare use. And the extender can extend the distance for another 328 feet. Both power and data can be transmitted over Ethernet cable and travel, travel further distance without losing quality, signal quality. Okay, so let's get back to the extender later and finish the connection first. Let's begin over here with the PoE switch. Okay, this is the PoE switch. Let's use a short patch cord to connect with our router like this. And over this side, we have the Ethernet cable, which... Oh, all right, just like this to connect to the switch. And this is a 328 feet cable. And let's connect it to our PoE extender. Let's plug it in this side. And the power light is on. And we need to place it right before the 328 feet so it can extend for another 328 feet. Let's plug it in here. And over this side, we are going to use it connect to our converter. Make sure you put in the right one. This is PoE in. Let's plug it in here. And another short patch code cord for PoE out. And we'll place it here. And let's connect to our SS point at the end. Okay, let's see the light is on and the access point is working. So the whole setup is pretty simple, right? And you can see we don't need an external power source anywhere because the PoE extender will send the power. 
The PoE extender is useful for outdoor devices that need data and power over long distance. It is perfect to locate it where it plays far from power source because it can take power inline so it doesn't require any external power source. Now the PoE extender is also IP67 waterproof. Make sure you fasten the neck and the gland with a wrench, not with your bare hand, because use the wrench can fasten it tightly and you can press the rubber inside tightly so it can keep the water and dust out of the cable. Now, if your device is located in an even further location, watch another video on how to set up PoE network up to 1000 feet. Now, thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.